The Raymond John Natitian Award for Voluntourism in the Performing Arts recognizes outstanding contribution in the voluntary service to the performing arts in Canada. The recipient receives a specially commissioned work by Canadian glass artist Naoko Takanushi of Vancouver and the commemorative medallion from the Royal Canadian Mint. And this year, the Raymond John Natitian Award for Voluntourism in the Performing Arts goes to William H. Levin. Entrepreneur and philanthropist Bill Levin has provided leadership, direction, financial support to the performing arts for over three decades. A passionate music lover, he has a close association with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra, to which he and his wife Shirley have donated over a million dollars through the WH and SE Levin Foundation. Other organizations he has supported include the Manitoba Opera, the Royal Winnipeg Ballet, the Manitoba Choral Association, the Winnipeg Chamber Music Association, and St. Norbert's Arts Centre. Your Excellencies, William H. Levin. Excuse me, Your Excellencies, uh, honored, guest, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, most humbling to be uh, here to, to speak to uh, as part of a, a group that uh, are so admired by so many people all across the, uh, the country and elsewhere. Uh, I congratulate you on, on the honor you've been given and the, the work you've done. Um, I, some, some who know me will not be surprised that I'd, I'd like to divert a little from the uh, instructions we've been given <laughs> about how we're, what we're supposed to say here because um, having spent my uh, entire career in the, uh, in the field of commerce, uh, I really don't have a lot to, uh, to say authoritatively in any way uh, about the performing arts. Uh, but I do have some things to say, if I may, about uh, support for the arts generally and uh, creativity uh, in Canada. In 1968, I started uh, a little company that um, had no real logical reason to exist, but uh, some very helpful Winnipeg businesses uh, gave me their uh, trust and the company thrived. Uh, I now count about 36 different Winnipeg companies that claim to have been the very first customer of Comcheck. <laughs> the support was absolutely uh, incredible. Uh, maybe we had a good idea, but it was off the charts at the time. and. Uh, uh, it, it, we were very uh, well supported. Had that not been the case, I would certainly not be here. And I think that's a point that um, we need to, to bear in mind, that um, support for the arts doesn't come from nothing. Support for the arts comes from 
to a large discount, a huge uh, de degree from the government. But a lot of the initiatives in the arts, uh, I think, come from small donations to unique situations, things that would miss the view of, of, of governments uh, and funders uh, that have that operate under different rules. So I thank the people of and the businesses in Winnipeg for the fact that I'm I'm here. I would also like to uh, uh, thank some others. Uh, a little while ago, uh, I met a a fellow from Russia, and. Uh, he, uh, I told him <clears throat> that my uh, grandfather came to Canada from Russia and he said, you're lucky. My grandfather went to Siberia. And uh, I think that too is something that we need to, to bear in mind when we think of Canada. It's so different had, uh, for the people that did come here from what so many experienced in, in Europe, uh, now in the Middle East. Uh, last Sunday, I had um, uh, a chance to have my first opportunity to eat Syrian food. For sure, these people have something great to offer us. And uh, that goes for, for so many of the people, peoples that came to Canada from uh, war-torn or otherwise in, impoverished uh, areas. I also think of the fact that when my great-grandparents -grand did come here, they were given what was called a reserve. The Mennonite people were given a reserve in Manitoba. There was the East Reserve and the West Reserve. And my great-grandparents ended up on the on the West Reserve, which and the property they landed on or were given happened to be the uh, to straddle the trail that the Métis people took in their uh, annual uh, trip to the buffalo hunt, and I think we've. We miss the point too often, although I think we're be beginning to recognize it more often now. We miss the huge, huge contribution to all of us that was made by our Aboriginal people. I think uh, we... It's heartening to see that more attention is given, being given to them now. Let's encourage that. Let's bring them along and let's make them, and, and as they are, they, they can't be otherwise part of our society. Let's bring them in with warmth and understanding and encouragement. So those are the thoughts as somebody who's got nothing to do with the sort of thing that you do <laughs> so well. But those are my thoughts for, for you. Thank you very much.